What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 30 minute legs and abs workout. So grab your bands and your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? I'm so excited that you're here today. We're gonna rock this legs and abs workout. I do have a couple things that you can grab before we get started and then we'll jump right into your warm up. First thing, the glute resistance bands. We have a goblet squat right up front and then a squat walk for our fourth exercise. So if you have your glute bands, go ahead and pull those out. Additionally, we have some slider core moves. So if you have a plastic plate, something that will slide or move on the surface that you have, go ahead and grab those, even a towel. If you don't have something that anything will slide on, I'll show you how to make it work. And then my bench for split squats, all right? So if you've missed them, they're back. And then the dumbbells for today are gonna to range anywhere from 15 to 30 pounds. Your heaviest move will be a goblet squat and we'll be working for 40 seconds today, 20 seconds rest, two times through every single move. So in the last part of that 40 seconds, I want you to really be pushing those last five reps, really making your legs work. So whatever weight that is for you, if that's 10 pounds, if that's 100 pounds, grab what challenges you, okay? So let's jump right into the warm up, big wide stance. We're gonna take it bent leg, slide and slide. Ready, let's go. Good job. Feel a little inner thigh stretch. And a little work in the legs. There you go, three, two, and one, good, walk it over and let's go for a lunge with the left leg out front, up and down. Good, two more. Good, step up and switch. This gets our balance waking up, this gets both of our quads waking up, glutes, hamstrings, and work on our ankle mobility as well. Two more. Good, there you go. Now stay up, reach down for the front leg with both legs straight. And as you're reaching down, make sure the back heel is driving towards the floor. Bend and straighten your back leg. Good, now bend and straighten your front leg. If you need to reposition or move it, that's fine. Great job. Come back up straight leg, step back and switch. Okay, so just bend and straighten the back leg first. Great job, and then let's bend and straighten the front leg. Perfect. Two more. And good, step up wide, both feet side by side. You can circle outside of your mat, drop your hips down. There you go, open your knees, try to open your chest up a little bit now. Dig your heels down and come up for five. Down four, down three, down two, and one, heels to glutes. Great job. We'll get started in just about 30 seconds. There you go, four, three, two, arms across your chest. There you go, good work. In just about 15 seconds, you've got two rounds of goblet squats. All right, 45 seconds for the first one, 40 seconds for the second one, just so we have time to transition, okay? So grab a weight that works for you, a band if you would like, and we're going in two. One, let's get it. Good job, chest is up. Nice work, push into the floor, and 20 more seconds to go. Make sure you don't just drop your chest, drop your hips, keep your chest up. Good 
five, two, one. Great job, 15 seconds rest. Let's go heavier if you can. Okay, or pick up the pace of the weight you just used. Let's go, four, three, two, and here we go. Good job. Bending your knees and your hips kind of at the same time. Making sure your chest is up. And then bringing your hips right back under your ribs at the top. Come on. Seven. Two, one, good job. All right, 20 seconds rest. You're taking your left leg. You're gonna keep it right here, all right? Out and squat, back up, okay? You don't have to use the riser or the slider if you don't want. You can just step out and back up, okay? I'm gonna use my 15 by my left foot. Ready? Let's go. Good job. You can even make it like a lateral lunge. Okay, just want the main focus on the left leg. Good. 15 more seconds. And then we'll go round two. Same leg, I want you to use this leg again. Three, two, one. Good, if you can go heavier, let's go up. Okay, and like I said, you don't have to use a slider at all if you don't want. If you're not using it, give me the other leg. Kind of at your heel width apart. Ready? Two, one, let's go. And you're gonna go 45 seconds here as well because your next exercise will just be the same thing. We're using our right leg. Great job, focus on shoulders and hips staying level so you're not dropping here. Five. Two, one, great job. Now you've got the same thing. We're just switching legs, okay? So start off with a challenging weight and then move up in either tempo or weight for round two. Three, two, let's go. Good, and if you're feeling you need more of a challenge, either increase this or spend less time up here. Spend more time here, okay? If you can pump a little bit more out, there we go. Come on, you gotta make it work. 15 more seconds. Press the floor away. Seven. Three, two, one, and you rest. And we've got round two. And then we move on. The bulk of your core or your leg moves are all together up top here. Okay, we'll move on to core in about three more exercises. Two, one, round two, let's go. Yes, great job, come on. After this, we've got our squat walk, lateral. Okay, come on, press that leg. Good, you've got eight, seven. Two, 
two, one, rest. And let's go for that lateral band walk. All right, if you don't have a band, I want you to hold a dumbbell at your chest, okay? And you're gonna stay as low as you can with your knees driving out as far as they can as you walk. Ready? Let's get it. And you're leading with the knee. So you notice the difference in this and this, right? That knee abduction, where the legs are going out away from each other, that's what activates your glutes, not just being here. The knee goes out, your glute has to work to make that happen. Good job, give me six, five, and then I want you to step it up somehow. Heavier band, add a dumbbell, rest, or don't rest so much in between, okay? Progress, make it a little tougher here. Let's go, four, three, two, come on. Oh yeah, <laughs> heavy band. It's calling me out. Good job. And focus, even if you have to look down at your knees to make sure your feet aren't further out than your knee. Look down. Good job, come on. Four, three, two, one, and rest. 30 seconds rest and we're moving on to some core. Okay, we'll go for some core and then we'll finish up with combos of the legs and the core. Bear crawl slider, pushing the right leg. You're in a bear crawl position, just the right leg has a slider. You go out and in. Keep the core crunched, do not let it come here. Ready? Pull the ribs up and in, two, one, let's go. Slow, slow. And if you don't have a slider, you're here and you're back, okay? If you need to drop down, that's fine. Plank, back in, okay? This is also fine, just keep this contraction. Try to keep that knee low. Nice and slow. 10. Three, two, one. Good job. Now we take that into a side plank and you're bringing that leg out front, okay? So it can be here and here or grab the slider here. Ready? Three. Same leg that was just on the slider is on it still. Let's go. Good job. And then we'll run back through this one more time. And then we'll switch sides. So this one leg is really working. So you definitely get a leg and a core in this move, right? Five seconds, stay up, stay up. Three, two, one. Let's go back to the bear crawl. Grab a quick swig if you need it. Same leg has the slider. One more time for both exercises. Four, up and in, let's go. Slow movement with that slider leg. I want you to focus more on this crunch than your slider speed, okay? Challenge your hips to stay the same height through the whole move. Good job, 20 seconds.
Shift your weight over your hands again. It might be shifting back. Put your nose between your thumbs. Five. Two, one. Beautiful, that same leg has a slider. You just roll it over. If you need that modification, drop to the knee, okay? And then that top leg still moves. Five, Whew. ready? Three, two, come on. Last one on this side. To make this tougher, you can also put a dumbbell right here on your hips. Good job. Elbows rolling a little bit. 15 seconds. <laughs> Anyone else have kind of a bony elbow? Oh. Stay up, stay up. Right here, focus for six. Two, one, beautiful. And we're just swinging that slider to the other side of the mat. All right, or you can turn around. Whatever's more comfortable for you. Whew. All right. Bear crawl, the other leg moves. Two, one, let's get it. Good, actively be pulling your core in. Good work. You got 20 seconds left, come on. Don't drop the hip, keep it up. 10. Two, one, rest, good job. Another option if you need it. That side plank can be inclined, okay? I'm looking out for the mamas here too. Anyone that's a beginner, anyone that needs to just be a little bit higher to make this a little easier, incline. Two, one, let's go. Chest is open, hips are open. Fifteen. Good, five. Two, one, and rest. One more round of each of those. Same leg moves. Yeah. All right, let's go. Five. Two, one. Come on. Good, now speed that up just a little more. Back, back, back. Nose between your thumbs, ribs are pulled tight. 15. Seven, good work. Don't stop, don't stop. Three, two, one, rest. Beautiful. All right, come on back to the side plank. Like I said, incline if you need it. Double your mat up if you need it. What's the main focus here? Your obliques. Okay, so any kind of modification you need to do, just lift those hips up. Let's go. Great job. Come on, you're strong. Stay up. Keep the hips driving to the ceiling. Good work, stay here, 14, 13. 
Beautiful, come on, six, five, stay up there, four, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. Whew. We are almost there. Whew. Two leg, two core. Okay, that's all that's left. We're starting back with the legs, split squats. Right side, and then left side. Okay, if you do not have a bench, you're just gonna go standard or lunges, okay? Just focusing on that left leg or right leg, the front one pushing you up out of there. All right, so let's go. Let's go right leg first, three, two, one. Here we go. Good job. Same thing if you need a little bit more stability. Bring that foot down in the back. Okay? You're targeting the front leg no matter what. So if your foot's here or it's here, the motion up front stays front leg squat focused. Five seconds. Rest, good job. 15 seconds rest. Keep the same leg working. Now see if you can step it up in terms of the dumbbell. All right, can you take it heavier? Can you hold it here? Ready? Two, one, let's get it. Good work, come on. Stay with me. Then we're going to that other leg. That's the last of the leg moves. And we've got two core moves. Four, one more, two, one, rest. You've got 15 seconds and we've got the other leg to finish out this leg work. You're doing great, how are you feeling? <sighs> All right, left leg on the ground. Three, two, let's go. Nice work. Stay focused here. If your balance needs to take a breather, still wanna focus on strength, back leg is down. You just keep sitting in that front leg. Come on, go, go, go. Six. Two, one, yes. Good job. Let's finish out the legs here, okay? Heavier weight. Non-stop a little bit more, meaning keep up your tempo. We're taking overhead stance. Let's go up three, two, one. Come on. Beautiful, keep it up. Fight through this, you're almost there, legs. Seven. Two, one, and rest. Beautiful. All right, taking it down to the floor. We're gonna, I'm going to double up my mat here. We're gonna go slider sit-ups, okay? So, you're moving your legs more than your core, all right? You're gonna be reclined back a little bit here, okay? You're gonna come here and tuck. Now, if you feel like you can tuck up, when your knees come in, you'll pull up here, 
okay? If not, you're gonna open, close. All right, so the hands-free option, tougher. Okay, if you need support, open, tuck in. Let's go. Good, you can make circles. If you're going hands-free, just make sure you keep your balance at the top. So there's a little freeze point, and then slowly open it back up. There you go. Nice, and we'll switch this up a little bit on the second round. Two, one, good. All right, now we're gonna go straight in and out. Okay, so one, two, hands free if you can, kind of like a bicycle, tuck, tuck. Tuck. If you need some support, back here, tuck, tuck, tuck. Ready? Let's go. Good job. This is just like a seated bicycle. Okay, whatever variation you're doing, it's control of the core. Good, you're up on that top part of your glute. Hands supporting or hands tucking around each knee and then opening up to the side. You go where you're challenged. Three, two, one. Great job. All right, we've got one more move. A side crunch. All right, so I'm gonna take a light dumbbell. All right. We're taking knee to elbow here. Optional dumbbell, you're going here, crunch, crunch, okay? If you have a dumbbell that's gonna be a little tougher, I want you to push up, knee to elbow, then back down, okay? If you need that support, stay here and bend, okay? So either way, knee's going to elbow. Ready? Let's go. Good, if you can, you're here, all right? Go to where your core is working hard for your level. Knee to elbow, whether you're going up to meet the knee or you're pulling it down like I am to meet right here over your hip, either one's gotta challenge you. 15. 2, 1, flip it over. All right, 15 seconds. You're going to the other side. Here we go, 3, 2, 1, come on. Good. Got a little shoulder press action here, but it shouldn't be too heavy. Either way, you're thinking ribs closer to your hips. Good, see if you can go into that push up here. Come on, push yourself. Come on, come on. Four, three, two, one. Come on up to standing, you've got one minute of work left and that's it. Combo, ab and legs. All right, you're gonna go two squat jumps, two knee to elbows standing. All right, so light dumbbell here. Ready, two, one, let's go. One and two, bring it up. One, two, you've got 60 seconds right here. Thirty more seconds. Come on. Whew. Come on. 
Come on, breathe, push yourself. 15. Five, one more set. Three, two, and rest. Beautiful work. And you've made it to your cool down. Before you head out, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. More workouts just as challenging as this one with me. Come on down to your hands and knees. Let's cool it down. But don't forget before you head out in some way, engage with the workout or the channel. Like it, subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend or comment below. Good, reach your hips back. Hands forward, breathe deep. Great work today. Come on up, right leg up top, shift your hips forward. There you go, I want you to stay mobile. All right, I'll link a work, an extra little workout and a stretch at the end of the workout and in the description, so check it out if you're interested. Switch back, other leg up top. Good, lift your hips straight up into the air. Keep your chest pointed towards where your front toe is pointing. Great job, step up with your other foot and let's just switch that over. Straight legs. You can even look up a little bit to give a little more hamstring work here. Good job, both legs come up. Let's cross your left leg over your right. And switch it over. Good job, this static stretch here at the end. Perfect for getting your muscles back to their normal length tension relationship with your bones and tendons. Cooling your heart rate down, cooling your body temperature down, or slowing your heart rate down. Slowly make your way up to standing, take your time. The word of the day, perseverance. There's something in your life that's challenging you right now. It's meant to challenge you. It's meant to remind you of your ability to overcome. Switch legs. It's not there just to test you and say, oh, this is gonna to be tougher than you thought. There's always gonna be challenges. Those things are coming into your path to remind you of your strength, of your perseverance, or to teach you how to be stronger, how to persevere. It's a lesson or a reminder. Challenges are always beneficial if you perceive them that way. Feet are nice and wide. Push your hips forward. Don't forget that. Nothing in your life is happening to you because you're weak, because you're a victim, because life is just unfair to you and only you. And it's all right to feel like sometimes things are just really hard. I'm not saying to ignore the feelings around tough times. Cross your arms over your chest, but feel all the things you need to feel. And then when you move into that point of, I've got to perceive this as, how am I going to move forward? What am I going to do with this? It's either a challenge or a lesson. A challenge to remind you of how strong you already are, how you've persevered through things like this before, or it's a lesson. Here's something that's challenging. I want you, life is saying, I want you to get through it. And at the end of this, you can't necessarily always look back and say, that was super easy. But you can look back and say, I'm the one that got through that. I did it. And now I can remind myself the next challenge that comes along. And I can also be a testament or an inspiration to someone else that's going through a similar challenge or will in the future. Put your heel down in the back. I can tell you when my brother passed away, I'd never experienced any pain like that. And I've connected with so many people throughout the years since he's passed and it's been three, almost four years, four, almost five years actually. And ever since then, I've had people tell me, because I saw you push through that, I know that I'm worth it to push through a loss in my life as well. Switch legs, okay? Sometimes it's the hardest thing we've ever gone through and we're not necessarily equipped, but we learn through it, how to get through it. And then maybe we're a testament to others, maybe we just are a testament to ourselves that we have what we need to get through things, as tough as they may be, okay? So if you're going through something today like that, whether it is in life, in fitness, nutrition, your faith, your relationships, whatever it is, perceive it in that way, okay? This is hard, let's not be oblivious and positive about everything, right? Challenges are hard. Sometimes they make you step back and say, oh my gosh, I gotta figure this out, this is tough. 
And then when you do, when you step up to the plate, you gotta say, I'm going to learn from this. And this is challenging me to remember my strength or to find my strength. Either way, it's inside of you already. It's just opening up. So remember that anytime you need it, any point in the day, any point in this week and this year, challenges will come and you are strong enough to handle them. All right, you'll discover that or you'll remember that. So I'll see you back here for our next workout. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel right here and give it a thumbs up and then comment below how proud you are of yourself today for getting through this workout. And I'll see you back here for our next one. Bye everyone. Awesome job today. I'm so proud of you for crushing this workout. Don't forget before you head out, I always link a couple videos. Here's a video for a little bit of extra core work and down here is a stretch video. Make sure you recover well and don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you head out. I will see you for our next workout. I love you guys.